Number 11. How much heat transfer in kilocalories is required to thaw a 0.45 kilogram package of frozen vegetables originally at 0 degrees Celsius if their heat of fusion is the same as that of water? All right. So basically, just remember two things, right? When a certain system absorbs heat, two things can happen. The temperature can increase or the phase can change. And in this problem, we're dealing with a phase change, right? The ice is thawing, and therefore the ice will become liquid. So when we're talking about phase changes, you're going to be using this formula over here on the right-hand side, all right? Um, so it's basically saying that the heat absorbed or lost by the system, all right, is going to be equal to the mass of that particular item multiplied by the latent heat of either fusion or vaporization. So if you're going from a solid to a liquid, you're going to be using the heat of fusion if you're or and vice versa if you're going from a liquid to a solid, right? Same thing, it's just that heat is being lost or gained depending upon which way you're going there. And then if you're going from let's say a liquid to a gas or vice versa, you're going to be using the heat of vaporization. All right. So for this problem we're talking about heat of fusion and that of water. Okay, easy enough. Now, basically, all we got to do is just plug stuff in. All right, so the heat here will be equal to the mass. They gave it to us, 0 0.450, multiplied by the latent heat of fusion of water, and that's 334 kilojoules per kilogram. All right, so you can plug that in, uh, that value into this equation. Just remember, when you calculate now, you're going to get out kilojoules here. All right, and by the way, this... You know, number comes from a table. Either you'll have to memorize it or you'll have access to the table. So now all we got to do is, I mean, the problem's simple here, right? 0 0.45, 0 0.45 times 334, and we get about 150.3. So I guess three sig figs would just be about 150. So 150 kilojoules, all right? And now uh, that would be the answer if they wanted in, in kilojoules, and then they just want us to convert it into kilocalories, right? So we can take this 150 kilojoule, Set up our conversion kilojoule on the bottom, kilocalorie on the top, and for every one, excuse me, for every one kilocalorie, there are 4.184 kilojoules. And then we just go about our business. So this is 150 divided by 4.184, and about 35.9 or so if we consider, actually, you know, let me use the more exact figure, 4.184. And yeah, we get up at 35.9. So this should be about 35.9 kilocalories, which is the same thing as capital CAL. So on your nutritional labels, the calories that are on the back are actually kilocalories, not calories, which is kind of confusing because it says calories, but they're capital C calories, which are kilocalories. Right. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Hopefully this helps. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We'll see you next time.